hello guys so today we'll see the easy way of calculating the dft or we'll say uh, let's say the trick uh, tricks to be remembered while calculating the dft uh, we all know this is the dft equation and uh, we will see a couple of tricks which can be uh, used to reduce the calculations uh, this is mainly useful when we are doing the manual calculations so let's take a real valued input sequence and which is shown as xn 13251476 and we want to calculate the dft of this one so the 8 point DFT is represented as XK. The X of 0 which represents the DC signal is this one. Simply the addition follow this or we would say the area under the given time domain signal. So this represents the DC component in the given signal. The next uh, will be seeing the central part. So this is the 0, 1, 2, 3, fourth element which will be simply the uh, plus and minus of each element so 1 minus 3 plus 2 minus 5 as shown so this is called simply the central ordinate property and this will have to be always real the next is uh, in this case the a or we could say the x of 1 the second element from this one this will always be a complex conjugate of the last element then again b will be a complex conjugate of here as shown b complex conjugate and then c so simply we have to calculate only the half of the elements here uh, the central element will also be a complex conjugate but this is possible only when uh, this is real because the real number itself is a complex conjugate of itself therefore this will always be coming as real the next thing is uh, what if uh, we want to calculate the DFT of the repeated sequences or interpolated sequences. So there is one more trick to do this. So if you have the input sequence Xn which is repeated m times, then um, what this says is or this expression says is the we can calculate the DFT of a single uh, sequence out of this one instead of calculating of entire uh, uh, inter, I mean repeated values. Uh, the DFT is this one. Just multiply this by m. m is the number of times it is repeated. Similarly, if the input signal is zero interpolated, we we'll say it as n by m. This is zero interpolation. If you want to calculate the DFT, the spectrum will be repeating. Let's say if m is three, if it is interpolated, uh, I would say the three times, or three interpolation, two zeros will be interpolated here, and then the output will be repeated three times. So let's uh, discuss this by using the examples. So this is the example one where x n is two, three, two, one. And we have to calculate the DFT of this one, where the Xn or the Xn is repeated three times. So simple and easier way is to calculate the DFT of 2, 3, 2, 1 itself instead of calculating the DFT of this entire big sequence. And then based on this one, the X or the spectrum is interpolated with zeros. So here the DFT of your Xn is 8 minus 2j, 0 and 2j uh, shown in the green color. Uh, if and then that will be interpolated with zeros and then finally will be multiplied by m which is 3 here 3 times uh, repetition of xn this is the output or dft of this sequence similarly if we have the input sequence which is 0 interpolated here so we have the input sequence which was 2 3 2 1 but now it is 0 interpolated we are interpolating uh, 2 zeros and the final length of the sequence is 12 so output we want to calculate the 12 point dft of this one so what happens is the DFT is again same 8 minus 2j 0 and 2j but as we have two zeros interpolated here uh, the spectrum becomes three times or the uh, the time domain signal is expanded three times so here the spectrum is also becoming three threefold I would say so one interesting property or interesting example of this one which I have seen in my life is uh, if you have the radar data and your algorithm is interpolating it uh, by using zeros or let's say uh, if you have the 128 point signal we are interpolating by using zeros and forming a 256 point 50 your spectrum will get repeated and if you see a target uh, there is a single target in output spectrum after interpolation we'll see the same target twice so that's a bit confusing many times but remember uh, that zero interpolation repeats the same spectrum and therefore we see the double targets